Hi, so today I wanted to talk to you about creating a video, about creating an introduction video. If you are applying for jobs, no matter where you're applying for jobs, if you're applying for jobs on Upwork.com or on Translators Cafe, Pros.com, if you're, if you're a freelancer of any type, chances are you have your, you're applying for jobs and you have an introduction page or, you know, a, a couple paragraphs that describe what you do and who you are. But in these spaces where you provide a description of who you are and what you do, as well as a resume, you could also put a video. And the reason I bring this up is because A, it helps you stand out from the crowd right away because almost no one has videos up there. Everyone just writes everything down. B, when someone's hiring you online, trust is a huge factor. I mean, you never know when you're hiring someone you, I mean, you don't know them from anyone else. You know, it could be someone creating a fake name and posting it up online and, you know, they can put a picture and that helps out. But every little step, every little thing you can provide to, to, to be more honest, to, to show that you're transparent and honest, that can always help. Every little step helps. And having a video is one of the most helpful things you can do at all. I mean, you know, because they see you, you talk to them and you're basically saying, hi, this is me. These are the services I offer. And uh, I can do this, that, and that. Don't, you know, feel free to contact me for with any uh, questions you might have. And uh, okay, create cr create a script maybe before you start talking, just so you don't have so too many ums and ahs. But on the other hand, you know, if it sounds natural, it sounds natural, and that's always appreciated. By the way, you don't need to get someone with professional videographic equipment to do this stuff. In fact, you shouldn't do this at all. If you follow these like famous vloggers and whatever on YouTube now, you know, people go through great pains to try to make things look natural and try to show that they're acting natural and all that. And you don't have to go through all those pains because you are just acting natural. For example, I mean, these, these videos that I'm doing, by the way, they're done with uh, the video camera in my laptop. This is my mic and that's it. Okay. Now, Obviously, this isn't my main thing. I'm the main thing. My main job is as a translator, but uh, you know, this is enough to do videos. And when you're doing an introduction video, that's all you need. Or maybe if 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 you want, just take a phone. I so if you do record it from your phone, I would not record it selfie style because that doesn't come off as very professional and it can be shaky, etc. What I would do is I would take the phone and put it, you know, lean it against your laptop right there. And that way from the phone, when you take from the phone, you'll get the same view that you're getting right now. Because right now I'm talking to my laptop and, uh, and if you're on the phone, you'll get the exact same view. And, and that's all you need to do. You just do a video of about one minute describing what you do and, uh, and why they should pick you, you know, what, uh, what you can offer them and just basically introducing yourself and then saying, feel free to contact me by email, by phone, but you know, by whatever contact details you have, and I'll be happy to talk to you some more. That way, whoever sees it gets a feel for who you are. They feel like they've met you. They'll remember you much more than the other people who are just names on a list. And it can definitely go a long way. So don't hesitate. Don't feel like you need something that's completely professional or be scared about what you sound like or how you look once again you know i know i have this lisp that especially when i become conscious about it becomes you know pretty strong but i'm i'm just making videos like this and it, it kind of came from the fact that yeah i started making videos to promote myself to clients and i realized that it's pretty easy to make a video so why not and so i really do recommend this if um wherever your intro is include a video the best thing is to put it up on YouTube, quite frankly, because if you can have a link on YouTube, everyone knows what it is and they can click on it. Sometimes, otherwise, they're not sure if they trust clicking on other types of links. And it's very easy to upload on YouTube. I, and if you've ever, if you have a YouTube account, which I'm assuming you do, since I think you're watching this on YouTube, then if you click on the top right, I think there there should be an arrow that is. Uh, you click on that arrow that and that lets you upload and um and then you can upload a video so it, it, it's very easy to upload a video and i don't think you need to edit at all you just you know do a couple takes find one that you're happy with and then just upload the video or put the link to the youtube video on your uh on your bio so people can access it it really helps with transparency and for people feeling like they get to know you um, and I mean, that's it. That's just a short video just to uh, tell you to make a video. 
and I hope you do find it useful and uh, let me know if you've tried this before and uh, and how that worked out for you. I'd be yeah, I'd be happy to hear what stories you have of what worked out and what didn't. So feel free to let me know. And uh, if you did find this useful, please click like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.